This question is from Richa. Can a disciple have two masters? In case one is initiated by two spiritual masters, is it advised to stick to one way and one master or practice what is taught by both of them? If I follow one master, then does it mean that I am being disrespectful to the other one who choose to initiate me on the path? <laughs> well, being with a guru or a spiritual master is not a question of loyalty, but it's a question of integrity. What is the difference between loyalty and integrity? Loyalty is coming from certain emotions that you have. Integrity means that you are dedicated to the purpose for which you are there, any place. You are in some place, what is the purpose of that place? You are absolutely dedicated to that, you will not do something else there. This is happening to a lot of you. You came here really to do spiritual sadhana, uh, but you're falling in love with somebody, getting married and... Um, all this happening, something, something will happen. Either you'll get headache or you'll get backache or uh, you will get a worm in your head or your heart <laughs> pulsates like that. So many things will happen, life. You don't understand that deviating from what is the purpose for which you are there is just a question of lack of integrity. Does it mean to say I should not do any of these things? Well, you must make a conscious decision, that's why you have come to build a life around a spiritual center. It's okay with me. I'm not expecting everybody on... totally on fire. But you came here with fire and then compromised. That's a little bit of adjusting integrity. Loyalty is a different thing. Loyalty is not needed in this affair. So, uh, <laughs> whoever you are, if you are here and you've gone somewhere and you're struggling, please don't struggle, just dump me. And wherever you are, just do that. Because the very fact you've gone somewhere is in some way, for whatever reason, it did not work here. So you've gone somewhere, at least there you do well as long as you grow, what's my problem? Or if you were somewhere and now you're here and you're struggling here, dump the nonsense that you carried from elsewhere and do what you require to do here, because this is like you know, there are coconut gardens and mango gardens. You don't go into a coconut grove, take one of these trees and plant it on top of the mountain. It won't last for a month. That's not where it works. It can only work here. Nor will you take a mango tree and plant it in a desert, not going to work. So the very fact you moved from one place to other, either by your own choice or some other compulsion, or maybe that master is dead or I am dead, when it happens, well, once you find the need to go somewhere, Give yourself absolutely there, wherever that is. Because you can't be in this place and dig in that place, it doesn't work like that. Does it mean you're disrespectful to somebody? No. See, it's like this. You have a mother. She took care of you well, you loved her immensely. Well, for some reason she passed on. Now your aunt has come, 
or maybe your wife, or maybe your neighbor, or maybe somebody else. Let's say your aunt because uh, other things will evoke emotions which are not... Uh, we cannot settle within this question. Now your aunt is taking care of you, but you love your mother. But you must eat the food that your aunt serves. You cannot eat the food that your mother serves. It doesn't matter how much you cherish her, how much you love her. You can love her, respect her, everything, but you must eat your aunt's food. Otherwise you will not be nourished, as simple as that. So if you've gone from here somewhere else, long distance it's very easy to love me. <laughs> yes, yeah, very easy to love me long distance. Close up, it's big trouble. <clears throat> you can sit there and love me and have regard and respect for me so that your uh, conscience will be settled. Because I want it settled quickly because this is not a very long life, it's a brief life. Handling all this rubbish, when will you get there? Settle it quickly, I have no issue. You can love me or hate me both ways, I have no issue, but settle it somehow and focus on what you need to do. But if you come from elsewhere to here, the same thing goes. You can have as much love and respect for anybody you want. I would say have that for just about everybody in the world. I've been telling you, if you walk on the street, because I've seen people doing this, they'll be going like this. Suddenly, somebody say, hey, Sadhguru, Sadhguru, Sadhguru. <laughs> I say, damn it, this is not going to work for you. This is not going to work for you that if you see Sadhguru, you're like this, otherwise you're like this. This is not going to work for you. No spiritual path is going to work for you like this. In some way, you must see the same quality in everybody, man, woman, child, donkey. I'm particularly picking the donkey. Donkey, cow, dog, tree, rock. You must... if you really... Well, going back to the first question, if you've really sat with him for sure, okay, then you must see that in everything. You must treat everything like it's Sadhguru then there's no problem. So where you are, what practice you're doing, when it comes to practices, as I said, now your mother is gone, you're in your aunt's place, you must eat the food that she serves. You can love your mother as much as you want, nobody can stop it. But you must eat and nourish yourself only from the food what your aunt serves. Don't sit there thinking your mother will serve you once again, she will not and she cannot. So do not bring such conflicts because it's a brief life. With all these complications of emotions, where will you go? The fact that you moved somewhere, obviously something did not work for you. Wherever else you've gone, please make it work, at least there. When you were here, you were thinking how to escape. Now you're somewhere else, you're wondering, maybe I should have been here. Don't do this. Once you leave a place, wherever the hell you go, make it work there at least. Just don't give up your striving, that's all that matters. When you give up your striving, I'm deeply disappointed with you. Yes, if you go away and uh, your striving is intense, I don't care, it's okay with me, that's less trouble for me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> if you are deeply striving and you go away, good for me? If you give up your striving, this is wasted life for you, wasted effort for me. Don't do that. <laughs>